They've spent time making you happy, and you've, in return, have made them happy. And we kept that circle of life going with the music, and I think we want to have a big hand for everybody who's been here tonight. Tommy, I don't know if you're still out there or not. He probably went home. But uh, we sure appreciate what you've done. This is a very special place. I've lived all over the country, and nobody has the thing we had here in Nebraska. We, we didn't worry so much here about being big stars because California was a long ways away and, and Nashville and New York and Chicago. But what we had here in Nebraska was the greatest local scene of any place in the whole country or Europe. Man, we had bands every weekend and we all became part of it. We followed each other and we loved each other. And Rich Beers gave so much of his time and talent to making you happy. And you may not know the reasons why some things happen, but here's one of the reasons why we're, we're making each other happy tonight. We're here to honor Rich and a very, very deserving band. And I gotta say, for me, I didn't know a lot of these guys in the tight fit band. But as I came here tonight, I know so many of these guys that have been in other bands and they all said, that's where I got my start. That was my inspiration. That's what put me here, and, and it, it thrills me to be here. 1994 we started, it was the Nebraska Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and then we got sued by the National Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in about 98, or it, it continued. I thought it was great publicity, but the board talked me into going ahead and changing the name of the Music Hall of Fame. But this is the Nebraska Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Got some rocking stuff went on here. And right now we'd like to recognize individually, individually members of the Tight Fit Band. And first of all, I'd like to mention some uh, members that that are not here tonight. And I'm going to mention them anyway. And uh, I'm going to start at the top. Who's not here? Uh, Mark Irvin is not here tonight. Mark Irvin, a big hand for these guys who aren't here. Mark Irvin. Here's another guy who's not here tonight, Lito Ledesma. Lito is not here tonight. Brad Richmond and Bill Kent are not here tonight. And I'd also like to give a tribute out to Roger Armstrong, who is deceased. Oh, Bill, Bill Jen is deceased too? I knew it said he wasn't here, obviously, I guess he's not, Bill. But uh, anyway, we'd like to start right now. We've got a, a, quite a few members who went through this band. And I was in a band back in the, uh, that started back, I started playing in 1959 in a band. And that makes me an old dude. And I know how bands, you know, you love each other. It's, it's hard to keep the same members, but you keep a tradition together that means something. And that tradition is followed here tonight. So we got a lot of people. Here's a guy right off the bat. Nothing but trouble, Mr. Troy Johnson. Troy and I spent some time together down in Nashville, didn't we, Troy? Yes, we did. Had a good time down there. And we didn't get arrested or picked up or anything. We were lucky. <laughs> Mr. Dave Bishop. <laughs> All right. Hey, you folks want to get pictures? I'll get up there in the center. Get as many shots as you can. Post them on the internet. Do whatever. Move on up here a little bit. One lady moves. What the f Oh, it's family show. Get a picture of that. You girls always want to get close to the band. We'll come on up there. there. One at a time to get them. This isn't one of those wild band parties after hours. Wait a minute. All of us would like to write a book, but then we all keep thinking I'd have to wait till everybody I know dies. Isn't that true? I thought of that shit and go, they'll never believe these stories, but... Mike Curtis. Yeah. Hold on, we want a good picture here. I've got a, 
uh, get my eyes to focus here a little bit. I've been drinking beer since about 5.30, so <laughs> stick with me. I've got glasses. Mr. Todd Beardmore. This guy and I met over the telephone, and, and he's a great player and a great guy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nebraska Music Hall of Fame, Mr. Dennis Dillinger. This guy rips it up on guitar. Ladies and gentlemen, a big hand for Mr. Dan Hatcher. You just stand up there till the flashing stops. It, it stops all too soon in the music business. Nobody wants to take my picture anymore. That guy really enjoys himself on stage. All right. Uh, this guy isn't here, but we're going to recognize him right here. You can tell him that we gave him a big hand and he wasn't here. Mr. Mark Rotherman. Here's a guy who works hard and tries to stay out of trouble. Mr. Kevin Enderley. He's got that guilty look, doesn't he? That's why I know you're from. He's another one of these country rock boys. He's the, he thinks he's the star of the show. He's leaving now. Kevin always has the best hot rod in town. Okay, here's a guy I've got a double announcement to get his. He's the last one standing over there, not almost. And uh, this guy I've known for a long time, and it's the most I've got to hear. You and I have played together, and remember that gig we used ear monitors, and I was the only one that didn't have ear monitors. So all I could hear is my guitar and the drums the whole gig, and I heard a little leakage out of your piano. This guy is a great, great friend of mine, and I, I really dig his playing, and I've gotten to know him well over the last couple of years. And he's also a Bob Lyons hero. Mr. Mark Garrison. Mr. Mark Garrison. 